What is going on my friends? In this video we are going to do a valve clearance check on a 2024 KTM 500 EXCF. Several things we need to go over. The mileage on this bike is 1,792. The operating hours are 55.7 and the ambient temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit or about 37 degrees Celsius and uh, it's important to point that out because the manual says that you should be checking these valve tolerances or the clearances at 20 degrees Celsius or about 68 degrees Fahrenheit so we are a little bit warm but uh, just throw that out there and lastly this feeler gauge set that I have, there are some gaps in the metric sizing, but fortunately I've got the lower and upper end ranges, so we can at least get a pretty good idea of where we stand on these things. So let's go ahead and start with the intake valves. I'm going to do the timing chain side intake valve first. Let's see what we've got here. Starting out with the .10. Okay, so that one's, we got the 0 .10 in there. My next size up is a 0 .13. Let's try that one. The .13 does not quite want to go in there. Even if I kind of saw it back and forth, I'm not going to try that too hard. So we are somewhere between 0 .10 and 0 .13 on the timing chain side intake valve. Let's go to the other side. Spark plug side intake valve. Let's see what we got. I got the 0 .10 gauge. That one goes in there fairly easily. Let's move up to the 0 .13. I can get that one in there. That one's pretty snug. Let's just check with the 0.15 just to make sure. That's, that one's probably about 0.13. Yeah, the 0.15 does not want to go in there. All right, let's move over to the exhaust side. Exhaust valves, timing chain side first. I know that the uh, range for these is 0.12 to 0.17. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the 0.10 anyway, just to see. And actually, it's not far off from that. Let's go up to the 0.13. Point one three is getting in there, but it's it's real snug. So yeah, that one is you can get the point one three in. I'll do the fifteen just to make sure if we can eliminate that. Yeah, fifteen's not going. Okay, let's do the uh, spark plug side. Start out with the 0 0.10. And that one goes in there, no problem. Go up to the 0 0.13. Uh, that one fits. Let's see about the point one five. Get the point one five in there. Let's go up to the point one eight. So we're on the upper end of this one. One eight is not fitting. So on the spark plug side exhaust valve, 
we are somewhere between 0.15 and 0.18. Alright, well, I hope you guys find that helpful. Um, the good news is the bike is still within spec at the about the 1800 mile mark. So what I will do is I will just follow up at the next 1800 mile interval, which will be 3600 miles, and I'll do a follow up video and I'll just continue to do them over the uh, lifetime of this bike so you guys can see how it does. I suppose another thing I could mention is I would probably consider this bike to be ridden at perhaps a medium duty. Um, I do a lot of commuting with it so it goes around in the city a lot, it gets on some highways and freeways and I also do recreational riding with it off-road. I would say most of the time I probably am just cruising around, not really getting too wild on the bike, but I do get on it and I do take it in some technical terrain. I would say, I don't know, maybe 60, 70, just kind of casual cruising around and maybe that, you know, 30, 40% getting on it, kind of harping on the bike a little bit. So yeah, I would consider it to probably be about a medium duty. It is not a, I don't grandpa it and I don't race it. So it's somewhere in the middle, just so you guys have a reference there. Anyways, Thanks for watching. If you got any uh, questions, comments, concerns, ideas, hit me up in the comments. You know what to do. And stay tuned for the next one. I'll be back at the 3,600 mile mark.